Ever wondered why sometimes predictions go wrong, even when they seem to be based on solid scientific principles? It's a fascinating question that leads us straight into the realm of scientific prediction. Scientific prediction, at its core, is a statement about the future. But it's not just any statement. It's a statement firmly grounded in evidence, past data, and rigorous analysis. It's like peering into the future through the lens of science, which can be as vast as predicting the path of a hurricane or as intricate as forecasting the behavior of a single molecule. These predictions are not just idle musings. They carry immense significance in various fields of science and seep into our everyday lives. Think about it. When a meteorologist predicts the weather for the week, you decide whether to carry an umbrella or wear a sun hat. When a doctor predicts the course of a disease, it guides treatment decisions. When an economist predicts the health of the economy, it influences policymaking and individual financial choices. So how does one make a scientific prediction? It starts with a hypothesis, an educated guess based on what we know so far. Then comes the collection of data through experiments or observations. This data is carefully analyzed often with sophisticated statistical methods to test the hypothesis. It's a process that demands objectivity, a keen eye for detail, and a commitment to follow the data, no matter where it leads. However, it's not always smooth sailing. The waters of scientific prediction can be muddied by various factors. One such factor is the complexity of the natural world. It's not always easy to isolate the variables that matter, and sometimes unexpected factors can throw a wrench in the works. Another challenge? Our own human nature. We are creatures of habit and belief, and sometimes these habits and beliefs can subtly influence our interpretation of data, leading us astray from the path of objectivity. So scientific prediction is a powerful tool, but what happens when our own biases get in the way? Stay tuned as we dive deeper into this intriguing intersection of science and psychology. Imagine you have a belief and you only pay attention to the instances that confirm it, ignoring the evidence that contradicts it. Sounds familiar? Welcome to the world of confirmation bias, a psychological phenomenon that we all experience whether we realize it or not. It's that little voice in our heads that says, see, I knew I was right. Whenever we come across information that supports our pre-existing beliefs or values, confirmation bias is like having blinders on. It's our brain's way of filtering out the noise and focusing on what we already believe. It's a survival mechanism, a way to quickly make sense of the world around us. But, it can also lead us astray, distorting our perception of reality and influencing our decision-making process. For instance, think about your favorite sports team. You might be more likely to remember the games they won and forget about the times they lost. Or, consider your views on a controversial topic. You might be more likely to read articles that align with your opinion and dismiss those that challenge it. This is confirmation bias in action. In the context of decision-making, confirmation bias can be particularly problematic. For example, if you're convinced that a certain investment is a good idea, you might only pay attention to the positive news about it and ignore the potential risks. This can lead to poor financial decisions and even financial loss, but confirmation bias isn't all bad. It can also help us feel more confident and secure in our beliefs. It can provide a sense of stability and predictability in a world that is often uncertain and unpredictable. However, the key is to be aware of it. To understand that our brains are wired to seek out and favor information that confirms our beliefs. To recognize that this can lead to a distorted perception of reality and most importantly to challenge ourselves to seek out and consider opposing viewpoints, to question our assumptions, and to be open to new ideas. It's clear then, confirmation bias can distort our view of reality, but how does it relate to scientific prediction? Let's explore this in the next scene. What happens when an objective scientific prediction meets a subjective confirmation bias? It's a clash of two worlds. Imagine a scenario where you're a scientist. You've put in the hours, done the research, and made a prediction based on your findings. You're confident in your work. But then, someone else comes along with their own set of beliefs, their own interpretations, and their own biases. They look at your data, but instead of seeing your predictions, they see something that confirms their own beliefs. This, folks, is when confirmation bias meets scientific prediction. Confirmation bias, remember, is when we interpret new evidence as confirmation of our existing beliefs or theories. It's a cognitive shortcut, a way our brains try to make sense of the complex world around us. But when it comes to scientific predictions, this bias can lead to some major misinterpretations. Let's take a quick journey into the world of medicine. You've probably heard of the placebo effect, right? That's when a patient feels better after receiving a treatment that's actually inactive, 
simply because they believe the treatment will work. Now imagine a researcher conducting a study on a new medication. If they have a confirmation bias, they might interpret the placebo effect as evidence of the medication's effectiveness. This can skew the scientific prediction that the researcher makes about the medication. Instead of accurately predicting that the medication has no effect, the researcher might predict that it is effective. This could lead to incorrect treatments, wasted resources, and potentially even harm to patients. Now let's shift gears and dive into the realm of climate science. Climate change is a hotly debated topic with various predictions about its impact on our world. If a climate scientist is influenced by confirmation bias, they might interpret data in a way that supports their existing beliefs about climate change. This could skew their scientific predictions, leading to potentially inaccurate forecasts about future climate patterns and their impacts. Finally, let's touch on economics. Economists make predictions about everything from inflation rates to job growth. But if an economist is influenced by confirmation bias, they might interpret economic data in a way that confirms their existing beliefs about the economy. This could lead to skewed predictions potentially affecting policy decisions and economic strategies. In all these scenarios, we see how confirmation bias can lead to misinterpretation of data thus skewing scientific predictions. It's a reminder of the importance of objectivity in science, of the need to separate our personal beliefs from the data, and to let the data speak for itself. So, while scientific prediction and confirmation bias may seem worlds apart, they can and do intersect, often with significant consequences. So, we have two powerful forces at play, confirmation bias and scientific prediction. But how do they stack up against each other? Let's imagine confirmation bias and scientific prediction as two fighters in the ring. In one corner we have confirmation bias, the heavyweight champion of subjectivity. This fighter is known for its prowess in reinforcing beliefs and preconceived notions, giving us a sense of comfort and certainty. However, its strategy is often flawed. It cherry-picks the evidence, focusing only on what supports its argument and conveniently ignoring anything that challenges it. This selective attention can distort our perception of reality, making us believe that our point of view is the only correct one. On the other corner we have scientific prediction, the contender renowned for its objectivity. This fighter bases its strategy on evidence and data, not personal beliefs. It's all about testing hypotheses, analyzing results, and adjusting predictions based on new information. Scientific prediction doesn't care about being right, it cares about finding the truth. It's open to being challenged, and it learns and grows from its mistakes. So, how do these two stack up? Well it's a clash of subjectivity versus objectivity belief versus evidence. Confirmation bias can be a formidable opponent because it's deeply ingrained in our psychology. It's often unconscious and can be difficult to overcome. However, scientific prediction has the advantage of being based on facts and empirical evidence. It's grounded in the scientific method, which is designed to minimize bias and maximize accuracy. The key to mitigating the impact of confirmation bias on scientific prediction is awareness and critical thinking. We need to recognize when our beliefs are influencing our perceptions and challenge ourselves to look at the evidence objectively. So, who wins in this battle? That's up to us. We have the power to choose which fighter we support. By feeding our minds with critical thinking and evidence-based reasoning, we can help scientific prediction win the day. In the battle between confirmation bias and scientific prediction, the victor is often the one we feed the most. So, what have we learned today about confirmation bias and scientific prediction? We've journeyed down an intriguing path, exploring the fascinating realms of human psychology and scientific reasoning. We've delved into the world of confirmation bias, understanding how our brains tend to seek information that confirms our preconceived ideas, sometimes leading us astray from the truth. We've also examined the rigorous process of scientific prediction, where hypotheses are formed based on data, tested and retested, until they either stand up to scrutiny or crumble under the weight of evidence. We've seen how these two concepts can intersect, reminding us of the importance of keeping our biases in check when making predictions. It's critical to remember that while our brains naturally lean towards confirmation bias, the scientific method demands objectivity and critical thinking. Remember, a prediction is only as good as the data and the objectivity that goes into it. Stay curious, stay objective, and keep questioning. If you enjoyed this video please like, share and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.